Hi students, this is the Office 365 and student email orientation video. In order to access Office 365 and your student email, please first log into Okta and click on the icon from the dashboard. We did have a separate video on Blackboard and single sign-on, which covered the details on how to set up your Okta account. If you have not done that already, please see the other video in order to find that out. If you've already watched that video, you'll be familiar with the look and feel of the Okta dashboard, which may look similar to this or slightly different, but it basically works because it has apps for different programs available for you to use with your college account. The app that we'll be talking about at this moment will be Microsoft Office 365 Mail and you may have other Microsoft Office icons on your dashboard. But you may be asked to authenticate yourself every time that you sign in once the multi-factor is turned on. When you're in this screen you are seeing your email. So this is your Outlook account. It's part of your Office 365 account with the college. And as long as you're an active student at the college, you have access to all the things that we will talk about in this video. Here's the number of notifications that you're getting and manage your inbox. So first you would want to notice that you have a focused and other inbox opportunity if you want to separate things that are sent to just you or things that are sent to distribution lists around the college. So that's one option to organize your email. You can create the folders like in download the Outlook app for your phone just to make sure that you're getting things and dealing with them as you're on the go. You can recognize the names of your instructors so that you know who is sending you which pieces of information from the college and you can manage your inbox notification like those in this example. So for all student accounts, they start out in that domain student group. You can choose to stop following that group or you can choose to only receive information if you click on that group. So you just click on the name of the group and you choose. Okay. So do I want to follow this group in my inbox? I'm going to select no. Once I get my account how I want it set up, then I'll be able to know that I can organize my email, but there are a lot of other things that Office 365 can do. To access the, the features of Office 365, you use the nine dot um, logo in the top left of your screen, and it's there if you have an expanded screen on a desktop like I do, um, and in particular browsers, it could be in different locations. So if you're on a mobile device, that nine dot icon may be in another area. And you can click on Office 365 from that nine dot icon that we talked about. Once you click on that, you'll get to a page that looks like this. And you have the opportunity over here to install Office on a computer. As long as you have an active Coastal Pine student email account, you will be able to log in to your student email and install Office on your computer. So once you install Office 365, you'll have access on your desktop to Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, whatever features that you want to have access to. You also have a OneDrive account with your cloud storage. And we can talk about this more when we get into the Blackboard video. But you can use this document storage to attach files and to submit them on the web. You can also sync these files to um, save on your computer. So my personal OneDrive account for my employee account has some files saved in my OneDrive. And I've synced my OneDrive to my computer and my files are here. Also, when you're online, if you want to share a document with someone in the organization, you can choose to allow people to see it. You can choose whether or not they edit that information and you can start typing their email address or name. So I could send this to myself with my employee account and I would be able to view that file. And once it's shared, 
it will have an icon beside that, that indicating that it's a shared document and we can if I had enabled editing we could work on the same document together as a group and if you do want to sync your files with your file explorer on your desktop all you do is click sync once you're logged in here let's go back and look at how we use a word document online so once you're in the menu where you see Microsoft Word here or here you just click on word and it takes you to the screen to start a blank document you just click on blank document and you start typing your information and you see that message that says that this is saving and now it says saved so where did it save to it saved back in my OneDrive account and if I sort by the date that it was modified I see that just a few seconds ago here's the document that I just started creating so if you do decide to create a document while you're on the web it automatically saves to your OneDrive if you want to save that document anywhere else let's say that you started a document and you're typing it online without having a word installed use file save as and you would download a copy. Do the same thing with Microsoft Excel documents, PowerPoint documents, or any of the programs that are part of the Office 365 package. Okay, that pretty much tells us how to use Office 365. And again, you can access that OneDrive account from anywhere, including attaching from inside Blackboard. And we'll talk about that when we get to that piece.